be working harder. A lot of bookings don't go back to Florida. All my Elliott diamonds is water. Money hungry, I got a disorder. They playing Rolex cost more than a quarter. Keep your wife, I'ma take care of your daughter. If she hold it down, I'ma a water. I'm still listening, reason. I'm What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Reggie So Live, and today I'm finna show y'all how to do this thumbnail real quick. And all y'all need to do is just get Superimpose X. And when you get the app, it costs $4.99. It's a little bit not really that expensive. Just go buy a car, go ask your parents to buy you a car. And all you're gonna need when you get into it is to get a background photo, like a photo that you took for the thumbnail, and just go ahead and start cutting it out. All you need to do is just follow what I'm doing on the screen because I have it to where it's just showing you. But um, I, I sped up this real quick, so this is not how fast I go. So don't get don't get anxious and don't get worried about how fast it's going on the screen because all I'm doing is just trying to be very precise because it probably took probably like two minutes, three minutes to do this little cutout right here. So. If it's your first time, four or five minutes wouldn't be that bad. So all you need to do is just cut it out. Try to get the best cut out that you could get. Get like every little hair, as you see I'm doing right here. I'm trying to get every little hair. I'm making sure that the red connects. And that's very important that the red connects or it won't let you cut out the photo. So you see that I'm getting all the background around. You're not going to have to shade in all the background. I had seen somebody's video where he was sitting there probably like an hour doing a cutout where he was shading out the background. If, he, if you watch a YouTube video where they're doing that on Superimpose X, click off and dislike, simple. And they just they just not helping you. So right here is to the end. I slowed it down because I know people are not gonna wanna know what to do. I click on that air, like the little check, like it's ready. And then there you go, you got your little cutout. So all I'm doing is just, I'm just simple, trying to get the sizing on, trying to get the sizing and i was like let me go ahead and go down now these the this like overlay right here it took me a minute to find these so i don't know where i'm gonna put it in the video but i know i'm gonna put them in the description somewhere so this is just like a overlay template that you could find online and i found mine online i went to a whole bunch of youtube videos went ahead and did all y'all work for y'all so i could just Go ahead and have better thumbnails better quality looking stuff for you and this makes it look more simple in it and it helps gain more attention because it's like a subtle blue background a subtle is something that's subtle and very good that can help catch somebody's eye so all i did was put it under the layer of the photo and just made it a screen i made it screen so you could just make it you could make it overlay but it's not going to look as good and right there i just showed how to like put a, a outline over it you can put multiple outlines like i don't even know what it goes up to you could put like a white and then a black but it works like that and then after it you really gonna want to put like a cast shadow you're gonna want to put a shadow behind it don't move the shadow all you have to do is just move like how much of the shadow that you want the opacity and like the color and that's really gonna make it look better so right here i was just looking i was looking for something i couldn't even find it but i was like let me just go ahead mess all that click the wrong thing and i was like one thing that's going to be important for y'all that are smaller is to save your png of your cutouts so you won't have to cut out no more so right here i'm showing the second way of how to make the thumbnail this is like my older way of making thumbnails but this is a cleaner way so i got rid of that that overlay or i still had it it still looks the same because this is usually does the same job as an overlay all you have to do is make it an overlay see how i was just changing it and see which one looked better all you have to do is just click a plain image go from like oh uh, i think it's like a transition from like blue to white or any color that you want to and then just go to tools and get that motion but then make sure that you're on the background which i didn't make sure you're on the background just get the motion blur but i don't really like doing these type of that type of thumbnails because it kind of makes it look too cartoonish and too too much for me so right now i'm just going to fonto and fonto is the best text app on phone it is the best text app and all i'm doing i don't know what i was doing right here i was just clicking it because it wasn't working and all i got to do is add text so right here 
all I'm doing is just adding the text. I'm adding each text and I'm making sure that I have it in the right size and write that, right and all that. So there's different ways of adding text in a video and all you, like in the thumbnail, and all you have to do is you just have to make sure that it's nice and make sure that all the text is a nice size, nice size that they can read it from saying it's a, it's a suggestive video, saying all this and all that. Make sure that they can read the text. Make sure that it's not tiny text because that will make you get less views on your video. Now, one thing I was doing is I was just making sure that all the texts were 0.61. That's what I went with for this video. I was just making sure that they're 0.61. But later in the video, I made the, the ones on the bottom a little bit bigger because they're too small for me. So all I'm doing right now is all I'm going to do is go ahead and add the gradient in the stroke. So right here, I started on the stroke, which was a mistake because it makes you it really doesn't show you how to do it right because the click system is a bit weird. But all I did was make the make the gradient and then just make it a vertical. And after you make it a vertical, it's going to look like that. So you see, I'm moving it around to show you which one is which. And all you got to do is just do that for all three of the text. You can add different color text. You can do whatever you want to just play around. I just made it all the same text so I can keep it simple and so people would know how to do it. So all I need to do is just do this for all the text. And after I do this for all the text, it's very easy. It's very simple. It's just a little bit time consuming. And right here, I was trying to make sure that the blue went with the background from the other photo. I don't know why I didn't just look at the background in the picture, but right here, I'm just doing the same thing for each one, making sure that I got it good, good and done right. And when you do it right, you just got to make sure that it's, it's very, like, not really eye-catching, but very subtle and not too many colors. Because too many colors will throw it off. Because the, the colors that they have suggested at the bottom are not really the best colors because they're like rainbow colors. And it depends on what type of thumbnail that you're making that that's going to be good. So all you see is I'm adding the adding a little white stroke the little white stroke gives a little 3d vibe it makes it look a little bit better now right here all i did was remake the text i didn't want y'all to watch that all the way through all i did was just remake the text simple the same thing i did i just didn't add the stroke in the shadow to it that's the only thing i didn't do and i just put it under every single text so i made four of those and put it under every single text and then put the other text on top if you don't know how to drag the text to make one go on top just click it that's all you got to do to make the text go on top now see i wanted to show y'all how, how, how i had that little process of like making it look like a 3d like making because this is up to eight texts this right here is eight texts as you can see the bottom ones are a little bit bigger and a little bit better so i just go to save it and there you go and this is how it looks right now now I was like, this is not enough, so let me go ahead and add something else. I had already forgot this screen record, and I had added something, so I'm just going to go ahead and add. This is another overlay that I'm probably going to put it in the description, or I might make an Instagram for these. And all I did is you do the same thing as the other overlay. Just make it, make it a screen, blend it, make it a screen, and then... All you got to do is just go to like where it says colors and go to like hue. I usually change the hue, change the saturation, bring the exposure down, like all that. You just got to tool with it. Like before you start making thumbnails, you just got to play with it to see how it works. I usually bring the exposure up to make my make it look like I'm not covered by like an overlay. And that makes the thumbnail look a whole lot better. It makes it look a whole lot more professional. As you can see, it, I had a little blue on my hair, so it's like, it's like some how, how some of the bigger YouTubers thumbnails are, to where you can have like a corner that's one color, a corner that's another color. All you gotta do is just keep playing around with it, and the better you know how to use it, the better it, the easier it gets. And you see, I got all of them 2K rings. It took me a minute to find those, all them 2K backgrounds. And I'm finna just, I might make an Instagram and just post all of them on there. So if that's the case, then I'm going to have an Instagram in the description. Now this, 
is an important step if you want to do this this is like a border outline i will make a video on how to make this specifically but i will have this in in the description too probably gonna make an instagram called gfx like reggie's gfx and all y'all for most of my gfx all you're gonna have to do is put overlay and blend it into like screen and it's gonna look good you just gotta play around with it you could turn down how much it is blend it but youtube that's about it for how i made my thumbs like comment subscribe your boys out youtube here is the account that i made all you have to do is just scroll through the photos and just screenshot it and you'll have the overlay just screenshot the overlay and just use it in your videos hope you enjoy like comment subscribe